Hello everyone, my name is Merzad BJ. I'm a postdoc at Florida State University and the paper that I want to talk about is the distributed adaptive AC droop control in DQ coordinates for inverter-based microgrids. Regarding the motivation of this work with emergence of microsources, distributed generation becomes important and subsequently decentralized and distributed control schemes are offered as solutions. Droop control is one of these uh, control schemes and uh, one of the issues with droop control is uh, power sharing accuracy and also electrical level quality. The approach in this work is uh, to use uh, DC control analysis and design uh, for an AC power system using Parks and Clarks transformation. Uh, the overall approach here is to use a hierarchical structure for the uh, overall control and also use adaptive droop control to improve for power sharing accuracy and also compensate for DC bus uh, voltage mismatch. And, uh, for the proposed control, we propose uh, droop resistance tuning and primary control level and also uh, curve shifting at secondary control to compensate for voltage deviation. The overall microgrid model is shown on the left hand side and the corresponding state space re representation is shown at the bottom. Uh, in the center at the top shows uh, the hierarchical structure of the adaptive group control in this work. And at the bottom, the primary control compensation for power sharing uh, is shown. The droop curve and the droop settings are shown on the right hand side and the secondary control compensation that deals with the curve shifting uh, is shown at the bottom. The overall system was simulated for uh, two distributed energy resources using uh, Modelica in the open Modelica software. Uh, the left hand side at the top shows the load and also the tuned group resistances. The center at the top shows the individual injected D and Q currents in D and Q subsystem. Uh, on the right hand side at the top shows the active and reactive powers injected into the bus. And uh, the left hand side at the bottom shows the individual local reference voltages in D and Q uh, coordinates. The overall, aim, uh, uh, the overall aim of the control system is to provide uh, local references uh, such as uh, VDF and EQF and then use uh, typical local control such as PI or the sliding mode control to enforce these references. The overall bus voltage uh, for the D and Q coordinates is shown on the right hand side at the bottom and the three phase uh, voltage is shown here as well. The overall aim was to maintain the active and reactive power sharing and also maintain the voltage uh, 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 that is uh, shown at the bus. In this work, uh, we used an adaptive uh, through control to maintain uh, uh, the load bus voltage and the connection sharing accuracy of parallel three phase inverter based microgrid systems. Uh, there were two adaptive sets of uh, PI control loops uh, that included a secondary and also a primary control level. It was shown that the group virtual resistances can be dynamically changed so that the current sharing accuracy is maintained and also the group curve shifting uh, can be used to match the nominal value uh, for the bus voltage. The behavior of the overall system under the proposed control was demonstrated for two parallel DQ system that uh, share active and reactive powers to support a three phase RSC load. And for the future work, we aim to use a more detailed hierarchical controller to study the uh, microgrid system under the proposed control. And uh, we want to perform a comprehensive stability analysis of the overall system to define the thresholds and obtain uh, the criteria for control parameters. And we also want to uh, uh, investigate the effects of rotating frame synchronization and uh, sensor measurement perturbation on uh, stability criteria. Thank you for listening uh, to me for uh, the contents of this work. And uh, I would be happy to be able to answer any question that you guys might have.